up, YouTube? This is King Daddy D Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Black and White Wi Fi battle. First of all, holy crap, what a freaking sick ass intro! It's been a long time in the making, not quite finished yet, so, but I, I just couldn't resist using it. Um, I'm not going to reveal who the maker is until it's completely finished, but. Uh, really can't wait because it looks really good so far also i want to give a quick shout out to pokemon king for life uh he is the designer of the team that i'm going to use today in this battle so he deserves a lot of credit make sure to go check him out anyway i'm doing an ou standard match uh this time it's against autastics and uh yeah it's a really cool guy take a quick look at his team it's using a crustal wow very cool. It's probably going to be there to set up entry hazards, but uh, not really too worried about how it could damage the team. The Gengar, hopefully my T-Tar will be able to deal with. Um, Starmie and his Rotom, Celebi should be easy, easily wall them and take them out. And then uh, Lucario, not sure if it's going to be physical or special, so kind of scary. But uh, hopefully at least you won't have Ice Punch and Scissor not a huge issue. So anyway, let's go in. Now my biggest worry in seeing his team was that Heatrans, who has uh, is my uh, entry hazard setter upper guy, and I didn't really see another opportunity that I'd have to set up Stealth Rocks, assuming he'd lead with his Crustle. So that's kind of the reason that I wouldn't first. I expected him to Stealth Rock first turn, but he goes straight for that Stone Edge, and it does way too much. So I'm going to go to my Gliscor now. I do carry Taunt. I'm going to be able to shut down uh, the Crustle from setting up anything else. And uh, Taunt, although people know Gliscor could carry it, it's not super common. So I uh, felt pretty good there that I was able to shut him down and he didn't just get a free switch. But this turn, I went for the Earthquake. Probably not the best play, but uh, nonetheless, it's in his Rotom. So I'm going to switch out Actually, no, I'm going to go for Protect first because I want to kind of scout the move that he goes for. Goes for the Willow, so I know that he's probably a bulky set. I see the leftovers. Um, also, had he went for the Hydro Pump, I'd be able to sort of stall out the PP for that because once a Rotom loses, can't do Hydro Pump anymore, it's pretty much useless. Nonetheless, uh, goes for Pain Split on the Switch. Not really sure why. He was able to sort of tell what Celebi this was by doing it, but uh, yeah, not too great. Gonna go for the HP fire right here, expecting maybe the Scizor to come in. So, eh, not too good. Let's see how much this does. And nice good chunk for an HP fire. So I should be able to take it out easily with the Giga Drain. Um, luckily, it does stay in and doesn't predict that and switch out. Get a crit, but it really didn't matter. It would have been an easy KO at that point. So at full HP, feeling pretty good, he goes into his Gengar. Now, I figured since he went straight into it, He's probably going to go for the Shadow Ball. Um, I went into the Heatran, kind of his fodder, in case he predicted me to switch into, like, the uh, T-Tar and went for the Focus Blast. But he goes for a sub, and that's horrible, because now there's not too much I can do. Goes for the Focus Blast. The original plan sort of sticks. I'm going to stay in and try and break the sub, but he's going to take me out, so not too good. At least now I can go into this T-Tar and uh, hopefully be able to just trap him in and take him out. So I am a Bandit set, kind of wish I was Scarfed. I might end up switching to a Scarf set T-Tar on here. But um, yeah, misses the Focus Blast, so looking really good. Uh, I go for that Pursuit, able to break a sub, and I'm feeling really good right now. And this kind of shows my uh, kind of shitty knowledge of OU right now, because I did not see this coming at all, but he disables me. And if you don't know what Disable does is I can no longer use Pursuit. Now, because I banded, I can't switch moves. So I could stay in and try and struggle, but that is just not going to work out. So he's probably going to right here set up another sub as I go into my Rotom. Now, I just didn't really have much else. I had nothing I could really switch into him. So with this guy, I'm going to have to... I only carry the Volt Switch and the Hydro Pump. So I'm going to have to go for the Hydro Pump. And I'm going to just have to hope that I don't miss it. So he goes for the Shadow Ball. And it's probably a three-hit KO because of the lefties. I hit the Hydra Pump, so very, very nice. Going to break that sub. Now, this turn, I'm going to go, I believe, for the Volt Switch. Um, just because I'm really, I do not want to miss a, uh, a Hydra Pump and let him be able to be behind another sub. So he goes for the Shadow Ball. And I live it. So very good. Go for the Volt Switch. Able to hit him. Very, very nice. 
and uh, now I should be able to go into the Excadrill and then just be able to revenge kill him. He's not going to want to switch out because of the entry hazards. He'd die coming back in. Does live from the sands, which eh, it doesn't really matter. Go for the rock slide just as the safe move. I could have done X scissors as well, but in case he did switch or something, I don't know. Anyway, goes in the Starmie. I could still X scissor, but I don't think I'll take it out because I haven't gotten any uh, stat boosts yet. Gonna go into the Celebi, which should wall it. And uh, thank God he goes for the Hydra Pump just because it was a little too risky to go for the Ice Beam. Even if he did carry it, I don't know if he does yet, but. You know, it's usually what a Starmie would carry. So this turn right here, I'm figuring, all right, he's going to switch out. He doesn't want me to Giga Drain him. And I go for the HP Fire, predicting most likely the Scissor, but just in case also the Lucario. And bam, nail it. And this is, I think, a modest set Celebi. It's really weird custom spread that uh, PK made. But uh, it works out for the most part pretty well. It could use... Maybe I think a little bit higher speed investment for my liking, but I also am not the, I don't know exactly what was the reason he put in some of the EVs. So anyway, I'm going to want to get the hell out of my Celebi because he does not want to stay in on Lucario. He's either going to have Ice Punch or Crunch, and yes, he has the Crunch. It's really good because Ice Punch would have ran right through my team. So at least now I know I'm going to completely wall him. I know he's going to be predicting the Earthquake and want to switch. So I go for the Taunt right here, and that's perfect because he goes into the Rotom. Now he shouldn't, I believe he cannot Pain Split or uh, do the Willow now. So pretty good, pretty good. All he can really do is uh, go for the Hydra Pump, because his Electro-type move won't hit me either. Um, I'm going to, this turn, go for the Protect, just to again stall out that PP on the Hydra Pump, but he switches out into his Starmie. So this is actually very good. The Protect is going to fail, but it lets me Protect again. Now, I wasn't sure if he knew this, but uh, I'm going to go for that Protect, just because I want to scout this guy, and thank God he went for the Trick. So that's really good. He's stuck in on Trick now. I'm going, in case he stayed in again to trick again, I'm going to go, I'm going to switch out to my Rotom. My Rotom, of course, will die, but he's going to be stuck with the uh, another choice item. Now, really good on his part. He did predict this and uh, made the switch, but because I do die, we'll again get that switch advantage. So very good. I can go into the Celebi and again, put him in a, to a pretty bad spot. Um, he hasn't seen my full move pool yet, so he's probably figuring I might... Well, I could overpredict and go for that uh, fire again, but he brought in Starmie, uh, basically just as fodder. But I ended up recovering, and it's just because I wanted to be at a healthy HP. I wanted to be able to continually bring in Celebi until these threats were gone. But now he will be able to go for that Ice Beam. And uh, it's not a big problem, because I know that I'll easily it's going to be a two-hit KO, and it's only one hit of me of Giga Drain, and I will be able to gain that HP back. But he gets the freaking freeze. What the hell? So the worst hacks in the world. Um, at least it's on a Celebi so that I know I'll be able to switch out and from that uh, natural cure be able to come back in. So the game's still not over from it. It wasn't quite game changing. Go into my T-Tar now that I know that he's stuck into that Ice Beam. And uh, I know that he's putting me into a situation now to just be able to freely bring in his Lucario. So not too much I can do about it. I go into the Rock Slide. I guess, you know, I don't know. It didn't really matter. I could have done a lot of moves. But um, anyway, goes into that Lucario. I'm going to switch out, go into my Gliscor. And again, because I know he didn't have the Ice Punch from last time, um, he, I'm going to wall him all day long. Goes for the Sword Stance and just in hopes, hoping that he gets a crit or that maybe it just does more. But uh, I'm an Impage Gliscor. There's nothing he can do. So you can see there, it does just under 50% um, after Stealth Rock. And, uh, yeah, not going to do it quite enough, buddy. Go straight for that Earthquake, and that will be a good day, Lucario, and good night. So Lucario's out, and it's looking pretty good. Just about my game right here. He's going to go into this Rotom, and uh, I believe I'm going to Protect again just to stall out that PP because the Hydra Pumps, once they're gone, you know, the Rotom's just absolutely useless. So at this point, Gliscor, he has no real other use in the game. So just again, stay in another turn, sack him out. So I'll get that uh, free switch in and uh, again, stall out another Hydra Pump. So at this point, it's just I bring in my Celebi and boom, boom, good game. So let's go, let's go. Celebi, I choose you. 
And I'll get a nice chunk of recovery back. He does go first. He is faster. And that's part of what I'm talking about with that speed investment on the Celebi. But what? Freaking paralyze? And then... Ah! Oh! So now I'm at a point of HP where if he hits... I mean, he's gonna hit because he has a Thunderbolt. The Celebi's done. And I don't even know if I can switch back in because of Stealth Rock. So I just end up staying in. Maybe I should have tried. But uh, yeah, I just stay in. He hits his Hydro Pump. And, oh my god, it's looking like I'm not going to win the game anymore. So, I bring him to my T-Tar. Again, just if he happens to miss that Hydro Pump, uh, you know, I could still bring this back. But, goes for the Hydro Pump. Bam. He hits it, and I'm gone. Alright. Well, I still have the Dory. I could possibly flinch him to death and kill him, or maybe get lucky, get a crit, or who knows. I, I'm really not sure how he has invested his EVs in this guy. So I go into my Dory, I go for the Rock Slide, again, he has to hit the Hydro Pump too, almost take it out, but what, Pain Split? Shit. Ooh, so freaking close, now I'm easily in KO range, but he might be as well, let's see, still could get that flinch, come on, come on, flinch, 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 no, oh my god, and he hits the Hydro Pump, goodbye Dory. And that's freaking game. But you know what? That was a freaking amazing game. So many ups and downs. So much fun. I always have a great time battling you, uh, Autastic Zach. Very cool guy. Make sure to go check him out in the links below. Again, PK, thank you. I love the team so far. It's really cool. I definitely need more time uh, learning how it works, how you designed it. But uh, so far, it's pretty damn good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great weekend comment, like, subscribe, and peace out.